Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> One skin. Two skin. Three skin. Four. Hello, Al. How are you doing? <laughs> are you ready for this? Well, I think so. Um, I mean, for those of you that don't know, uh, I haven't raced in two years and... No, 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 no. You haven't raced in a long time because you've done a lot of parading. Right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, parading. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Racing wasn't the right term. It was parading around on a Saturday and a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm making a racing comeback at Castle Coombe next weekend, so for the 1st and 2nd of September. And once again, I'll be mounting the GHS Racing SV650. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And this is a, I mean, this is safe to say, this is a, as developed as it's going to get. Well, not as developed as it's going to get, but it's a very highly developed bike. Yeah. This we built specifically for the, the, the TT use this year, but it never got used due to uh, political reasons. Right. Um, so, yeah, hasn't really done anything. So he's brand new, pretty much. Yeah. And what sort of power is it kicking out? Oh, oh, it's well into the 90s at the wheel. Yeah. On our dyno. Yeah. So that puts us anywhere between 95 to 103. So let's, um, so for Super Twin, this is a Super Twin. This is a heavily modified SV650 for the, those of you that don't know. And basically the rules are you can change everything except you've got to keep the frame standard. Well, this is a bit of controversy now. See, so the rules super twins for the TT say one thing, but a lot of the clubs are not using those rules, but I build them all to super twins TT spec. Okay. So frame has to be um, as the original manufacturer, but you're allowed to remove lugs, add lugs accordingly. So okay. basically it has to be a production frame. Yeah. None of this one-off specials yeah. that are trying to sneak into the program. Um, subframe you can remove, change, add, so forth and so on. Swinging arm, you can use a standard one or use one from the same manufacturer but different model machine. So this has got a fancy GSXR 750? GSXR yeah. 751. Um, primarily because we want to play with torsional effects on it um, and lengths and so forth and so on. And we're going around the houses again looking at that. Different riders have different fills. Um, so, but the, other than that, that you pretty much the engine, the crankcase has got the, the, the crankcase is a pretty much nearly standard. Yeah, but everything else inside can be changed. yeah. The crank can be the, the crankshafts now can be uh, modified, lightened, and so forth yep. and so on. Alternators can be changed now, which is where we are now. Yeah. Um, your pistons, your comrades, your valves, your springs, your camshaft, lift duration, adjustable timing gears, your slipper clutches, radiators, throttle bodies. But the ECU has to be a standard ECU with a okay. rev limit of 11,000. Right. So really, really, Super Twins now, this is like the closest thing to prototype racing other than... Well, it's in, within a budget of prototype racing. Yeah, of course. People talk about Super Twins being cheap. No racing's cheap. No. Right? And ultimately, once you get to the level of international racing like the TT, cheapness is out the window. Yeah. And... For those who are talking about money, for those of you that, again, don't know my history with James, um, we've had a checkered history, it's fair to say. Um, up and down. Up and down. But uh, if there was a monetary value to put on the racing that... You owe me uh, a fortune. I, 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 owe, I owe you. <laughs> I mean, I, I just dread to think, you know, super sport racing, help building my super stock bike, you know, years of uh, super twins and the TT, obviously. And so, yeah. You're a richer, fuller person for the experience. Exactly. And so are you. No, I'm not well, a no, richer. No, no. <laughs> no richer, richer in a different sense. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I don't look upon it in a negative. I look upon it as a positive. Okay. That's good. So do I. So front to back, we've got GSXR 600 well, these in. Well, these wheels aren't going to be in it when you oh, race Oh, no, we're bike. not. No, no, they're because not, they? Because we're having Dimax. Yes, darling. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. for the wheels. I'll go and show you them in a second, actually. Yeah. So these are just uh, the push around wheels we've yeah. got on at the moment, which are the GSXR wheels, basically. Yeah. Um, GSXR 600 forks, um, GSXR 1000 M4 calipers, but inside the forks, we have a KTEC 25mm IDS cartridge kit with extender caps. Oosh. With our billet aluminium yokes, um, clip-ons, yeah. quick action throttle, 
Yeah. And you're using the standard dash now, aren't you? Yeah, because it has a gear indicator standard. You know, we just have to put a temperature gauge in there. It works. Yeah. The looms, a standard loom that's deep cut out and so forth. Um, you know, back ends, JUSIX are wheel in there. KTEC DDS rear shock absorber. Yeah. Um, our own titanium full exhaust system, which is you're missing a little bit at the moment yeah, because that, yeah. we've got to go to Castle Coombe, it's got to be a bit quieter, yeah. so we have to go back to our normal length can. Um, but we are going to keep the TT tank on for you. I was going to say, that's a, the extra. Yeah, that is factory, isn't it? So all the fuel goes under, the, under my body, really? Under your body, body. So yes. how does that affect dynamics? I mean, have I got a. Well, weight centralizes it better, but you know, we could have. We, like, th like this, this is, this is where we are with the tank at the moment, which works, but we have a dummy fuel tank covers. So it looks like fuel tanks, which aren't fuel tanks for shorter circuit stuff. If we're doing it with a little fuel tank here and it comes up here, we've got loads of options, but yeah. this was the bike we built for the TT this year. Yeah. So this tank holds 20 litres of fuel. Um, it has our big air box on it, our big throttle bodies. Can we have a look at that or is that, no. uh, is that out of bounds? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Okay. No. We can't look at that. That's out of bounds. Well, nothing's out of bounds, is it? Okay. You can have a look at it if you want. Yeah. Would you want to look at it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. It's okay. I'm, so, it's for your own good. What is this? This is my breather that right. I put in because obviously we want to fill the tank up faster at the TT. <laughs> so we cap comes off, fill it up, boom, fillers all opened up and so forth. We've got a breathe, so we have a little one-way item. Okay. Dare I say it, this item here is Kawasaki. Is it? I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, what else have we got? What else have we got on this? Uh, Loads of I stuff. I mean, the, the trick thing, that's See, the, the trouble is the, the engine is the trick thing. Yeah. Because yeah. this has got, the new light crank in it, my special alternator on it, which is like over a kilo lighter than standard. So it brings less inertia. Oh, the pickup on quicker. it is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, we're also using different balance factor now because we found with the roads at the high RPM sustained, because you're nearly for seven miles on the stop yeah. at the TT. That's a phenomenal amount of time. You can't even put into context what you would do short circuit wise in order to do that. And people think, oh, no, Suzuki's no good. And that. it takes hours, man. Hours and hours and hours to, to, to do this. Um, so the engine side of things, we're at the sort of pinnacle of our performance. We've got another one, but. The test mule. Yeah, it's, it could be a ticking time bomb or it could be a ticking atom bomb. I don't know yet. And I'm not riding that, am I? No, no. you're not going to ride that. You, your son's riding that, is he? Parading it. Parading it, okay. He's going to parade yeah. it. Um, but yeah. And what do these buttons do here? Um, well, this one here being red, yeah. okay, gives you the Domino pizza. Right. And, and the yellow is the McDonald's. Oh, right, okay. It's a direct access. Ah, right. No, one's pit lane speed limiter and one's switchable mapping because okay. we have um, modes within the ECU, which is standard on the Suzuki. Yeah. Um, it's called a MS1 or MS2 mode, and we can switch between the modes depending on the mapping we want. Fancy. Fancy. Um, well, you know, air intakes. Yeah. Here. That's not standard, is it? No, that's not standard. No. Okay, that's our air box that we make. The Pico Big Ball 4. So I'll be number 44. Boom. What else? Um, and yeah, you can come and have a look. Well, there's lots of bike, lots of JHS racing bikes. I think there's a couple of Super Twins, a couple of Mini Twins, a J6R, 600. Uh, Bono is braiding his uh, K3? Yeah. K3, J6R 1000. The one you tested. The one I tested years and years ago. Years ago yeah. for um, another magazine. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. Come on down, the price is right. Uh, talking of price actually, what is this? Well, this is actually gonna go for sale after you've ridden oh, it. Oh really? Yep, I'm gonna skin I'm out a, no lot, a lot of bikes because we've ended up with like six Super Twins and we don't really need six Super Twins at this particular point in time. So we're gonna be selling on a lot of them and they range 
from eight grand up to around about 12 to 14. So what's this one? I don't know yet, I ain't worried that one out. Depends what sort of state it comes back from. Okay. Well, I hope it comes back in the same condition it went. Of course it is. It's going to come know. back cleaner. If not, That's what I meant. Well, I, I, this one would be the higher price one because obviously the result you'll be getting on yeah. it will reflect in the sales price. Yeah. Sweet. Can't wait. Thanks, James. Where are these dime mags then? I don't know. On their bike somewhere, aren't they? Look at that. So what, how much lighter are these wheels? Bono, what do we work out to be? Kilos? Yep. Yeah. And what? And almost two, like 1.8, 1.5 on the front. 2.5 kilos on the rear. It was something like that. And Don't quote me on it. We might be right. wrong. Yeah. You know, but they are really light. And everybody who's sat on the bike and, and ridden the bike, it just said how, how quick it turns. 